Just about every dog owner knows what it's like to be on the end of a leash of a very determined dog. When your dog is out of control and walks, it can be very uncomfortable for you. But have you ever thought what it's like for your dog? Well, it can also be really uncomfortable for your dog because he has the constant strain on his neck or on his harness. And you may think, well, he's doing it to himself, he's pulling. But he's actually being taught to do this. Positive reinforcement is all about working with your dog instead of against your dog. So every time you go to train your dog something, you need to start thinking how your dog's thinking. At the moment, your dog thinks that if I pull, I get to go where I want and go and see what I want and it's all exciting. But if I walk with my owner, I won't be able to go see all the places I want. Now you want to show your dog that it's fun to walk with you. There are two ways that you can train a dog to stop pulling on the leash. The first way is the preventative strategy. This is when you put food on the ground next to you or behind your foot when you are walking. This will stop the dog from walking ahead of you. Then, after many training sessions repeating this action, take a few more steps and then you put the treat down and then eventually he will expect the treat and walk with you instead of in front of you. As you can see here when I'm walking, if Gonzo ever walks with me, I click and give him a treat because that's exactly the behaviour we want. Now this is the second strategy where we stop and we lure the dog back with the treat and give him the treat when he's walking with us. I've also taught Gonzo the command wait, which I taught him by going on walks and then I'd stop and I'd wait until he'd stop with his attention on me, then I'd click and give him a treat and we'd walk on and if he'd pull I'd stop again. This is a good way for dogs who aren't so interested in the treat because you can get them interested in it while you're walking backwards. Teaching the weight command is easy and can be done in your backyard. All you need is a leash, a clicker and your treats and you just walk along and you stop whenever you want to. Then wait till your dog stops and has his attention on you and then click and give him the treat. Then you keep walking and repeat the process. Remember to click again if he's walking really nicely next to you. If you find that your dog is not concentrating well in your backyard because this is not his training place or any other reasons, sometimes it can help if he's on an actual walk and in the situation. The key to positive reinforcement training is consistency. When you are consistent with your dog, your dog picks up whatever you want him to achieve far more quickly. Every walk you go on from now on, you will need to use these techniques in order for him to pick it up. The clicker is a very important tool in this process. You need to make sure that your dog knows exactly what the clicker means and responds well to it. If your dog doesn't have a good understanding of the clicker, your dog won't be able to know when he or she has done the right thing. Hello, this is Gonzo. He's about 10 months old and um, he loves to pull people along on walks and slobber everywhere and chew things up. And so I'm training him. And um, I've used him for this video because um, he's, a, he's got a great personality and he's really like smart. He knows how to be trained and he knows what I'm trying to get him to do. And, but his, as you can see, his owners also used a choker chain on him because he was so uncontrollable. And I recommend not using a choker chain because they really hurt the dog's neck and you can, it can go too tight on the dog and really hurt them. So. Even though pulling may be hurting you, you don't want to hurt your dog. You want to use positive reinforcement and the techniques I've shown in this video and leave the choker chains at the pet shop.
Thank you for watching this video and I hope that you found it really informative. If you have any more queries, I have left links in the bar below and I have left a link to a video of a trainer who I have really admired and has helped me train my dog and she is very keen on positive reinforcement and she is all around really good at what she does. So thank you for watching and remember, make man's best friend your best friend.